And the clans is the best right here for my brother. The best Mexican Viagra, more power for clans. Yeah, my brother. Right. More power, more tushy tushy. Yes. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> he had the clans, right. he had more tushy tushy. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, too, bro. Michael. All right. Okay, thank you, amigo. Bueno, sí. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Young and Hungry. This is Sir Andy here, and today we're an hour away from Ensenada. We are at La Papadora. This place is incredible. They have amazing restaurants, and the market is right behind us. And then if you can take a look, that's the restaurant we're having right now. And I parked my car just right over there, just right on the cliff. I mean, you cannot beat the scenery. I mean, all right, let's go. Just look at around. Propina, uh, okay. So three dollars and he's asking for tip. Okay, he's two dollars. Okay. All right. Thank Como you. Como te Alex. Alex. All right. Muchas gracias, Alex. Muchas gracias. See? All right. And the parking here is just incredible. Just look at what's behind me. I'm parking right on the water. It's literally just like, that's cliff over there. And they have a like a market right over there too that with ton of food and we're gonna check it out right now. But the scenery it just cannot be beat. It's just so incredible. I'm so stoked. Let's go. Nine? That's Alex, he's nine years old. Incredible. So they have a market here full of everything, all the stuff. You know, they have multiple restaurants here. And there's just like, yes, see, YouTuber. Uh, YouTuber. And they have everything here that, that you can imagine. They have like fake stuff too. <laughs> so if you want to come here and buy a lot of souvenirs, they have everything here. But make sure you got a bargain for this. So uh, I'm at the uh, the restaurant here. It's highly recommended by the locals and all the uh, the foodies uh, alike. Is Amihaz Gratinadas Donut Chewy? Donut Chewy. And you are the owner, or uh, John? John. Okay. Uh, How long have you been here? Uh, we have a small plan right there. So I make it is a Mexican seafood. Mexican seafood. So we are here at the restaurant, guys, and. They have an amazing assortment of seafood, and as of right now, I can see that they are grilling uh, uh, the uh, clamshells, and in the clamshells, they have uh, shrimp. They have like big pieces of clams right over here, and I see some uh, pico de gallo. I see some uh, seafood salsa they have here, and right here, they have some uh, like chicken kebab style, you know, like uh, I see some seafood right there too, uh, some onions and some green pepper. I mean, if you gotta come to, come to here. One more for you? They have an assortment of seafood. I mean, the stall next door, just right across from them, is doing pretty well too. It's pretty packed. To show this place. Yeah, this place is also pretty. You should have got the loot there. Hey, two right here. Just look at the size of this thing. So, how much are these things, John? Oh, uh, this one for only three dollars each. Three dollars each? Yes. Oh, okay. So, Tell them over here. I mean, these are blood cockles, right? Yes. Yeah, blood cockles. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> Look, uh, can you do four for ten? This? Four for ten. All right, let's do it. He's gonna do four for ten. All right, let's do it. Um, I'm gonna get two of those and four of these. Okay. Oh, what what are these? Uh, clams? Uh, the, the clams. Oh, okay. Got it. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna okay. get four of these. Cuatro patas. I'm gonna pick the biggest one. I can pick whatever, right? Yes. Okay, so one, two. Put it here. There we go. Three and four, right? Oh, this one is huge. Look at the size of this one. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. And how are you gonna cook them? Uh, do you want a rock or cook? I, I, what? That one for cook or rock? Uh, 
What do you think? Let's do uh, two raw and then two cooked. Okay. Yeah, two grill. Let's do that. Okay, and what, what do you have here? We have the palomas, we have tequilas. Uh, this is the bar, tequilas. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm maybe a little bit later. Okay. What about here? What is this? Uh, fish tacos and shrimp tacos. Oh, fish and shrimp taco. What kind of fish, you know? It's a uh, mackerel. Oh, mackerel. Okay. And everything is fresh here, of course. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And how much are they? Only two dollars each. Two dollars each. Okay, very cool. That's awesome. You have all this sauce here. This is uh, what sauce? I make it here. That's one. Oh, okay. okay this, this looks amazing. I mean, y'all gotta come try this place out. I mean, this place is also not bad itself. It looks really incredible too. Um, they have churros over here too. Maybe we'll give it a try a little bit later. Can you tell him to like, like uh, oh, no cut. To me, uh, no cut. No? No, no, yeah, no cut. Don't cut it. Oh. Yeah, see, the whole thing. Uh, for the grill, yeah, no cut. It's a ceviche, right? Ceviche. Uh, this is uh, salsa here. It's <laughs> salsa. Si una va a ser especial, una con chipote y la otra no. Sir. Right. All right, we got four blood cockles for the 10 bucks, and he said it was three dollars of each, but we were able to get four, four out for 10. But this is the place that you can absolutely bargain for 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 your goods, and uh, two of them I don't want to cut. Uh, I don't want to cut. Uh, so he's grilling the whole cockles for me, and the other two are I chopped up in little pieces to make ceviche out of them. So it's gonna be great. Be famous. Look at that. The, the smell of the the smell of the pescado, deep fried pescado here is just incredible. It's so 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 good, and we got the food here, so let's eat. We just got an array of seafood here uh, with the cockles and the clams. So I ordered also some Mexican Coca Cola. I mean, this is much sweeter than the Coca Cola that uh, we usually get in the states, but it's definitely definitely gonna be so good. I just smell. Oh. I cannot wait, man, I cannot wait for the, the, the clam, it's just so incredible. So here we go. Refreshing, much sweeter than the regular Coke. Mm. Alright, so let's, let's get this a try. Oh man, I gotta break, break the shell. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, it, it's 
It's still warm. It's been sitting here for like a few minutes because I was like busy filming outside. But look at this. This is $8 for a clam for the two sides. Okay, some uh, butterfly shrimp over here. Big pieces of clams in here. They cut up the clam. Some pico. Man, this is gonna be great. Oh my god. The meat is chewy, it's tender, it's uh <laughs> Yeah, see? You got a mariachi. <laughs> He's gonna play some bolero. It's the seven lucha. Oh my god, this I love Mexico. I love this place. That's why you gotta come to Mexico. The people are friendly. It's so incredibly nice here. Oh man, the food is amazing. The seafood is incredible. They also just brought out the grilled cockle here. I asked them to leave it just be, don't cut it up. We're gonna eat the whole grilled cockle together. But first, we gotta try this one first. This is cut up blood cockle with uh, ceviche. They make a ceviche style with uh, pickle de gallo. I see some uh, cucumber here. Oh man. Look at that. Oh. I've never had blood cockles prepared this way. Usually in my country, it would just grill over fire, charcoal fire, just like this one. And we would have it with uh, salt and pepper and lemon. But this way, it's so fresh. You don't like the taste of seafood, you're not gonna like the taste of raw blood cockle. It, it's a little bit irony, a little bit tangy. That lemon juice, the lime juice is really kicking through. The cucumber is refreshing, it's crunchy. The pick of the guy is absolutely fresh. It's so good. Yeah, but it has a really strong aftertaste if you're not used to eating blood cockles. But yeah, I've never had it raw like this. Never had blood cockles raw. So that was an interesting experience for me. Okay. Next, I'm gonna try this one. Whole blood cockle grill over charcoal fire. Oh, oh look at this. Alright, I'm gonna put some uh, hot sauce over here. Salsa picante, Mexican lindo. They have Valentina, salsa picante here. Yeah. Mexican lindo. Hey, welcome back. 
Um, I don't know what this is, but it's, it seems like kind of a house sauce. So I'm just gonna try it here. Oh, it's it's mayo. Oh, I'm not gonna put mayo on this thing. Let's put um. Let's try this one because it looks hot and sexy. Hot, hot. Oh. All right. Cheers. Let's go. Wow, extremely chewy because it's so big, so the muscle is just so huge and it's like it takes a long time just to chew. But it's so fresh and so good. Wow, man, I've never had a blood cock of this big. It's insane. But it just, you know, with the the sea cliff, just with the with the oceans right here, just like below our feet, literally below our feet, and just the people in the market right behind it. it just, Yeah, corn tostada. Crunchy, bland, no flavor. It's a good snack, always. I'm gonna put the, uh, the raw cockle on here. Oh man, this is good. That was it. I unlocked the secret chest. That was it. Grab this. Even though it's cool to eat it out of the shell, you know, you want to dump this onto the tostada. Just have it with a tostada. It's like, it's like a heavenly snack that you could have. Man, I wish I could have this every day. Wow, this is incredible. Cheers. Wow, we're gonna go check out yeah, some other places. They have amazing food here. The hawkers here over just crazy. I mean, they, they fight over the customers too, so so just beware. All right, so we just got done with lunch. I gotta show you where we're sitting right now. Let's just look at this. Here. Let's move on. Thank you. <laughs> you had a churro? Yeah, follow me. A churro? Me. How much for a churro? Follow me. Churro, 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 I mean, he's making fresh churros right in front of us here, and we gotta check this out. 
girl, huh? Oh, girl. Oh, then you put it in and you press it out. Got it. So we got a one dollar churro here. It's quite expensive. Um, <laughs> you know where I'm at. It's a touristy spot. Um, and for a whole bag, it's four bucks. But this is one dollar. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit more. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> it's kind of cold though. Like they were gonna make a new batch for me, but I said it's not necessary. But this is absolutely so good. It's crunchy. It's sweet. It's cinnamony. You gotta come check this place out. All right, keep rolling. All right, that's it. Oh, one more. And the, and the clams is the best right here for my brother. The best Mexican by Yagra, more power for clams. And my brother. Right. More power, more tucci tucci. <laughs> yes. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he had the clams, he didn't have more tucci tucci. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, too, bro. Michael, too, bro. All right. Okay, thank you, amigo. Right. Have a name. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. All right, we're gonna get a uh, pina colada in a pineapple. So if you want one of these mugs, it's twenty dollars for one of these mugs, and they can engrave your, they like laser tech your your name on there too. And uh, for this one, I'm just gonna get a pineapple because I'm, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Uh, for the pineapple, it's eight dollar, uh, and uh, with uh, two refills. But I'm not getting the refill, so I'm, I'm getting it for five bucks only. What's in here? What's in the drink? Piña colada. Piña colada. There you go. That piña colada right there, the best at the Blue Hole. <laughs> best in Mexico? Ah, uh, yeah, the best, best in Mexico, right here, right here. <laughs> it is in Alabama, California, guys. See. What's the name of this place? Que se te antoja. Que se te antoja. Okay. And we are going to the back of the house here. They have an amazing view out here. That's a little parking spot over there, just overlooking the cliff. I mean, this is the back of the house. This is the back of those houses. Pretty cool. There you go, he's having a pizza. What are you having a pizza? Good. Your lunch? This is my lunch. Do you like that? I got food here with the people. Uh-huh. Fish tacos, green tacos, right. chicken, and beef. Yeah, but I'm not, uh, I'm leaving, so I'll take one of these. What is this, a uh, pepperoni pizza? It's, uh, pepperoni and Mexicana. Mexicana? Yeah. Oh, let's try the Mexicana one. It's like, this is great. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, man. Thank you. Cheers. It's very nice. What's your name, again? I'm Antonio. Antonio, he's very nice. You know, I got the pineapple drink and he got me one of the uh, pizza slices. It's gonna be great. Mm. You make it here? My friend down there, the um, panaderia. Oh, panaderia. It's like Pizza Hut. You like Pizza Hut? Yeah, it's very, it's even better than Pizza like Hut. It's soft, really soft there. Really soft, yeah. The, the flour is extremely soft. And what kind of meat is this? Is that pork or a beef? It's pork. It's pork. Oh man, it's really, really good. Pork, cheese, and chili. And pina colada. Man, what a combination. Pina colada. The best one from you guys. Mm-hmm. And the ocean view is in the back, it just cannot be beat. Great place. Well, oh, thank you. Uh, pina colada is really great, really refreshing. There's not a whole lot of liquor in here. It's just basically just really milky, smoothie, and that's it. I can smell some pineapple, but that's basically the, the cup here. Yep. I mean, this place is definitely a, a, a very touristy spot and make sure to bargain for everything. Uh, quite expensive, see? <laughs> oh, no, thank you. So uh, we're, we're gonna head out now. Uh, we're going back to Tijuana. So let's see you know, what kind of food they have there. But make sure to bargain in this place, okay? They will, yeah, they will take your money willingly. But some of them are extremely nice though. So, you know, it, it's taking with a grain of salt and enjoy it and that's it for this episode if you like this episode make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to share with your friends and family and hit that subscribe button all right stay young stay hungry i'll see you in a little bit bye bye
Cars here. Right here. Uh, one really interesting thing that my, my Spanish speaking friend just told me that uh, she went to um, a hawker and she was just buying some, some random food and they were like, oh, you speak Spanish, you know, like we thought you didn't speak Spanish. So now that you do, now that we know that you do speak Spanish, we're going to give you a cheaper price. So there you go. That, that speaks volume, you know. <laughs> just be careful out here. Make sure to bargain. Haggle, 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 okay? So I'm on my way back to the United States here and we are at the ready lane just to get ready to uh, get our paper check uh, in order to go back to uh, the state and the line here is just, just I think it's gonna be it's not gonna be that bad it's gonna be about 30 minute wait um, but there are tons of car here there are tons of vendors and people just running around and selling you stuff um, it's a quite hectic uh, situation over here I got really thirsty from eating a beef jerky, so I just got a, a, a can of Coke here for a dollar. He asked for a dollar twenty-five, but I only have a dollar. There's that. The scene is quite hectic, you know. Um, the 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 light, the power lights up there are just insane. It's just so bright. There are, there's a helicopter just flying right above of us. And there are tons of camera here just to check the plate, check who you are. Look, on every side there is like one, two, three, four, five. I see five cameras per lane. There are border patrol agents with uh, with the German Shepherd over there. There's one just checking your paperwork right over there. So we just passed the checkpoint and the uh, the border patrol lady was uh, so incredibly nice. Basically she just asked um, if we could lower the the window for the back seat and we did that and she asked what where we were heading. We said home to the cool and she was wondering you know what we did in Mexico and we were like you know we went to Ensenada just for some seafood you know and she asked if we wanted to declare anything we were bringing back something. I said no nothing. Uh, I was gonna say just some coke, but I didn't want to pop that joke. It's the bad joke to, to be popping at the border. Um, and now we're home. Yay! Good old America. Woo -woo! And of course, she struggled to say my name. Struggle. Story of my life. Happens all the time. It all's good. <laughs>